Today's video is sponsored by GVG Mall, where you can get a Windows 10 serial key for only $17. And by using my discount code, you get a 20% off discount, making it even less $14. After the payment, you'll receive the serial key, and to activate it, just go to your Windows settings and introduce that same key. And voila! You have an activated system for only $14. Hello guys, I'm Shit Game Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco, and today I bring you a video, a remake, a requested remake of a video that I did three months ago, which is the How to Overclock and Undervolt RX 5700XT. Okay, for the overclocking and undervolting, we're gonna use the inbuilt tool in the, in the AMD driver. So after you install the AMD drivers, just go to your desktop, click on the right button of the mouse, and this will appear. AMD Radeon software. Open it. Here you have the, the games you played, blah blah blah. What you want for now is here, the performance tab. Click on it. Now you have the metrics. So the GPU usage, VRAM usage, CPU usage, RAM usage, blah, 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 blah. But we're gonna go to the tuning. Tuning, and here we are. So, the first thing to do is to put all to manual, instead of automatic and default, manual. So, manual, GPU tuning, enabled, fan tuning, enabled, power tuning, enabled, VRAM tuning, enabled, advanced control, no need, yeah, but advanced control here on the GPU tuning, advanced control on the VRAM tuning, and yes, this is the first step, so, okay, all to manual, apply. I tell this to every single one watches my video, videos, in fact, uh, overclocking tutorial videos. First and most important thing is the power tuning, so the power consumption. You must and you won't to put the power limit at max. If you have at least a decent CPU, put it at max. Though, keep in mind that this doesn't mean that... Okay, let, let me just... Nah, it's worse. Putting the power limit to 50% doesn't mean that your GPU is gonna use more power, okay? It doesn't mean that out of the box, it means though that it will use more power if it needs to. So, if it needs more power to perform better, it will use more power. So, if you are overclocking or even undervolting, let the GPU use the power it wants to. Because, for example, if you are having stutterings, if you are having some other problems, having the, the GPU pulling the power it wants to may fix that uh, in the first hand. So, okay, this is the base. Power limit, 50%. Now, let's go to the GPU tuning. Okay. As for the stock, this is the Sapphire Nitro version, Nitro Plus version. And as for stock, we have three. Three parts with frequency and three parts with voltage. Okay? Each referring to each one, okay? Frequency voltage, frequency voltage, frequency voltage. Obviously. But we have a 2034, so 2034 megahertz uh, on the core. Although I found on these cards, the RX 5700 XT cards, that this is not the sweet spot. The sweet spot in terms of performance, voltage, um, heat output, uh, wattage, whatever. The sweet spot in terms of power draw and performance is in fact below 2000 so if you just if you just want to let's say put the boost at 2000 2000 okay if you put it at 2000 what will happen is that the um, the card itself will boost to around uh, 1960 1950 around that so uh, it, it has an offset of let's say 50 megahertz if you put 2000 you'll have 50 megahertz less, usually. Offset is, is from 30 to 50 megahertz, usually, okay? This on the core. Now, we're gonna reduce, like we did, uh, reduce the, the frequency, and you must, you must be asking yourself, okay, so if we are reducing the frequency, that means that we are reducing the performance. Not at all, because you are, you are reducing only 50 megahertz. In 2000, 
2000 you are reducing 15 uh, not 15 but 50 megahertz which is clearly nothing and we'll go there okay um now the second thing is that since we reduced uh, the frequency we can also reduce the voltage now these rx5700 xt cards come as the vega cards they come extremely over voltage over voltage means what means that the, the card is using way more voltage than needed why you ask because amd does that in order for the quality control uh, for in, in order for the um, the quality control pass more cards for example uh, this card may need just one volt but another card may need just 1.1 volt. Another card may need now the 1.2 volts that the card brings. So that's why they do this. They do this in order for all the cards to pass. Now, you may be lucky and have a really good card. Or you may be unlucky and have a less good card. But in, in general, in general, almost all cards come over voltage. And you can... Reduce the voltage in order to decrease the power consumption, decrease the heat, which will also decrease the noise because your fans won't need to to turn um, that fast because you're not you're not reaching such higher temperatures. Okay, this is the base. Sorry for the the long explanation, but it needs to be explained properly. Now, for example, let's let's say I'm using on this card eleven zero seven. Okay, for 2000, 2000, yes, I'm using 1107, 1 volt, 0.1, instead of 1.2, this makes a lot, guys, this makes a lot of difference in terms of power consumption and heat output. Okay, we did it. This is the first step. I guarantee that in almost every card, these core settings will work, so don't worry at all. Now let's go to the second part, which is a really important part also, the VRAM tuning. Okay, now we have a max frequency of 1750. This is the stock, okay? This is the stock frequency of GDDR6, 1750 megahertz. Now my card can go up to 1860 megahertz, but now you ask, how do I know if, the, if my card can handle uh, this VRAM frequency or not? Well, most cards will easily handle 1800 MHz. Almost any card will handle 18 MHz. Okay, 1800 MHz, sorry, okay? 18, they will obviously handle 18. But 1800 MHz, almost any card will handle it, okay? For example, I'll be using, and my profile, which has a link in the description for you to, to download, is in fact 1800 and 60 megahertz okay how do you know your card handles it or not just go into a game a really heavy game let's say gpu heavy game like the, let's say the witcher 3 the witcher 3 is a good game to to test the the vram frequency go into there disable any frame limiter you have vsync frame limiters whatever disable and run the game let it push the max possible from your gpu now if it handles let's say 30 minutes, one hour gaming without any problem, then the frequency, I must say that almost certainly the frequency is stable. Now, if you start seeing, for example, some artifacts, green screens and whatever, you need to reduce. For example, let's go to 1850. Okay, do the same process. If it is stable, keep it. If it isn't stable, go 1814. And do this, reduce it till it is stable. Okay? Nothing astonish astonishingly difficult here, just simple math, simple steps, no problem. Now, I have, I have indeed, um, uh, like always, I have indeed a profile that you can load, download and load in your PC, uh, which has the overclocking profiles already done, and for that you, ju you just need to go download the profile, of course, and you just need to go here, profiles, and load. Now, for example, you can put it on this on this folder or in the desktop. For example, if you have it on the desktop, you must go to the desktop and select it. Okay, in this case, we have it on this folder. Open. And okay, as you may see, the profile is applied. Simple as it can be. So, 
with my profile with it under under vaulting and a bit a bit of core frequency under clocking only 50 megahertz but to compensate that and not lose performance we overclock the vram so overall the performance will be the same or even a bit better with a lot lower temperatures a lot lower power consumption and a lot less noise I think these, at least for me, these are the most important points, okay? The sweet spot for these cards is 2000 MHz frequency, which will boost to around 90, 50, 90, 60. This is the sweet spot for these cards. If you start going over that, the power consumption will ramp up, the temperatures will ramp up, and that will make your card consume way more power and be way more noisy okay you will you will in, in fact hear the noise if you are pushing higher voltages with this setup the voltages are pretty fine and you have almost no noise and way lower power output so way lower power draw sorry so it is a win-win situation for me and that is it guys i don't i don't really have much more to say it is this simple so once again if you have problems overclocking you can leave a comment in the comment section and I'll try to help you and I'll try to answer you as fast as I can. If your VRAM isn't stable, decrease the value. If your core, if your core frequency isn't stable also, decrease a bit the core frequency or increase the voltage. As simple as it can be. Once again guys, don't forget hit like, subscribe and share this awesome video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Don't forget that my profiles are available in the description to download and load in your computer to several driver versions okay so don't worry thanks a lot let's now see a, a small comparison between overclocked and stock for you to see um how it goes how things goes in terms of power consumption heat output and whatever whatever thanks a lot one more time and see you in the next video